New at noon, your local election headquarters looking ahead to the Rhode Island primary. We are less than a month out from when voters will decide who moves on to November. That includes the race for governor. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer live right now at WPRO Radio in East Providence. The candidates seeking the Democratic nomination had a debate this morning. Brittany. Well, Patrick, the debate wrapped up just around a half hour ago. The five candidates discussed a variety of topics, including housing, the economy, and the pandemic. The mediator, WPRO's Bill Bartholomew, says they were unable to hit more due to the hour time cap and some highly debated topics. Within those 60 minutes, a lot of slander attacking incumbent Governor Dan McKee not doing more in his first 18 months, as well as Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea and former Secretary of State Matt Brown not delivering in their seat of power. But on the other side, the politicians attacked both Helena Folks and Dr. Luis Munoz for their lack of political experience. The debate started with opening remarks, then proceeded to the state's housing crisis, where candidates spoke on the need for more affordable housing, as well as the proper spending of American Rescue Plan dollars. Next was the pandemic and health care, where Mickey touted his first in the nation for vaccination achievement, while Folks mentioned her CBS background and lowering prescription costs. Last Lastly, the Democrats were asked how they would improve the economy and Rhode Island's poor opportunities for businesses. Here, numerous candidates argued with McKee over his Tidewater Landing Project deal. Well, coming up on 12 News starting at 4, hear more on those variety of topics in the debate, as well as discussion on Roe v. Wade and the arguments that then ensued. For now, live in East Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. And 12 News, Roger Williams University once again teaming up to take the pulse of voters tomorrow on 12 News starting at 5. And on WPRI.com, we'll show the results of our exclusive Democratic primary poll showing who's leading the races for governor, lieutenant governor, and the second congressional districts.